Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about some array methods. In the last session, I have discussed about arrays. We started with arrays and here is the file that we created arrays.js in the last session and we started with arrays. I will just comment out all of this. I will press control and forward slash or command and forward slash in case of Mac and here I will discuss some methods, some useful methods in arrays. For example, if I create an array again, I will say let fruits equals to and I will create an array with some values. I will say apple, banana and grapes. So we have got this array and if I print this out, I will say console.log and I will print out the fruits array and if I run this, it is printing the entire array so this is our array now I can use some methods here I can if I want to remove some element I can say fruits dot pop so pop is the method to remove an element and it will remove the last element from the array so it will remove grapes if I print out the array again after removing I will run this so you can see it has removed the last element grapes from the array now if you want to remove the first element you can say fruits dot shift and this method will remove the first element and not the last element if I run this and print the array again so I will run this again and you can see it has removed apple and now we are just left with banana so you can use pop or shift if you want to remove elements from the first index or from the last index and you can use the function push to add elements I can say fruits dot push and I can give some element name here so this will add to the end of the array if I print the array again after this push let us see the output I will save this and run this and you can see it has added the element at the end in case you want to add at the beginning you can say fruits dot unshift so you can use the unshift function or unshift method and this will add to the starting so I can say here lemon and if I run this now you can see lemon is added at the beginning of the array you can also use the delete function so I can say delete and I can say fruits and I can give some index position so I can say uh, one here so this should remove or delete the first uh, the index element one or the element at index element one which is banana so if I run this again I will run this to check and you can see banana is removed however the index position is still there so the element is removed but the position is still there so I can also just say fruits and at index position one I want to add orange and if I now print the array again and I will run this you can see orange is added at index position 1 so you can use like this uh, you can also remove by using the splice function so I can say fruits dot splice and here I can say uh, 0 to 2 so what this does is this method will remove the element starting from the index position 0 until 2 elements or I can say 1 to 2 so let us see the output if I run this and then print out the array let us see what happens so I will run this so did you see it removed from index position 1 which is starting from orange until two elements it removed so it removed orange and cherry and we are only left with lemon so this is how you can use a uh, splice you can use splice in another way so I can also say fruits dot splice and I can now say one and zero and I can give some element here so orange cherry so here what I'm trying to say is I'm saying add two elements which is orange and cherry 
and this is the number of elements to remove so I'm saying 0 that means nothing will be removed and it will add orange and cherry so if I print the array again let us see the output now I will save this and run this and you can see it has added orange and cherry and it has not removed anything so you can also use splice like this and you can also use the function slice for example uh, I will say let citrus fruits so I want to take out the citrus fruits from this array and create a new array citrus fruits so I can say fruits dot slice and here I can say I can give the index position so I know it starts from 0 so I will get say 0 and I want to go until 1 so I will say 0 to 2 because the second index will not be included it will slice from 0 until 1 and then it will put it into citrus fruits however it will not remove it from the original array so the original array, in, array remains same I can print this out here and I will also print out the new array which is citrus fruits so let us see the output I will clear this and run this again and you can see this is the output the our original array is same and we have a new array citrus fruits which is created by slicing from the original array so you can use the slice function and you can also use a concat function for example I will say let even numbers I will create a new array and for even numbers I will say 2 4 6 and I will say let odd numbers equals to 1 3 and 5 so these are the two arrays now if I want to create a new array by concatenating these two arrays I can say I will give some name that numbers equals to I will say even numbers and then I will say here dot concat and in the bracket I'll give the other array which is odd numbers so now if I print out the numbers array let us see the output so I will remove clear the output here and run this again and you can see the numbers array has all this concatenated now if you also have more than uh, two arrays if you have something like prime numbers as well and here let me say we have two three five and you want to concatenate, concat this as well so you can also give it here with a comma I can say prime numbers and now I can run this and you can see in the new array everything is concatenated so this is how you can use all these array methods I hope this was very useful for you you can do some more hands-on so that these concepts are very clear to you and I will meet you in the next session of JavaScript Thank you so much for watching.